I'm just going to quickly create a topo surface. So by drawing some model lines, just using the rectangle command, what I'm doing is defining the limit of my site. And then I'm going to go to mass and site, topo surface. I'm just going to use points. Uh, you've actually got your model from an imported uh, DWG file, but this will follow the same sequence when it comes to creating the the actual uh, building pads. So I can put spot heights at different elevations. Let's say I change that to 15 feet and you'll see that the contours come in and I'm going to say it, uh, let's go to zero. And the reason it might look to you like it's a solid file is that when you finish making your topography, if I were to draw a section, so I'm going to say draw a section through the part of the top, the top topo surface, it, it shows up with uh, a hatch pattern indicating where the, the soil is. Um, but if you look at it actually in the 3D view, you'll see that it's really just a, a surface model. So how do, how do you create a, a building pad? If I go back to my uh, massing in sight and I go to the building pad option, what you're doing is you're creating a, a closed shape uh, that represents the building pad itself. This could be any shape that you want. I'm just going to use the rectangle again for case of speed. And uh, when I'm done, I'll say OK. If, I, uh, if I'm going to move my section along just so I can cut through this, so that you'll see that in uh, in 3D what it did is it's cutting down into the uh, the site itself. And if I grab that uh, pad, you see that I can move it up or down. And it adjusts the where the surface of the, the terrain is. So really all you're doing, and t typically you're working in the site view because in the site view the topography is automatically turned on, is that you are, uh, let me do another one just so you can see it, building pad and draw the shape that you want for the building pad. This time I'll, I'll modify the shape a little bit. When you've got that closed shape and you click on the finished editing, if I look at my model in 3D, you can see where it cut down into the site itself, and then those properties themselves can be uh, can be changed. So if I said make it 12 feet above the the level it was drafted on, you can see how I can adjust the the building pad. I right, hope that helps. I'm sorry I missed you. Uh, trying to do the go-to meeting, but you can always give us a call if, if uh, you need some further explanation.